When a person has a severe open wound and direct pressure fails to stop the bleeding, or you're unable to apply direct pressure to the wound, a tourniquet might be the best option. A tourniquet is a tight band placed around an arm or leg to stop blood flow to a wound. There are several types of manufactured tourniquets available, and these are preferable to a makeshift or improvised one. To use a manufactured tourniquet, place it around the limb approximately 2 inches above the wound, but not over a joint. Secure the tourniquet in place by pulling the strap through the buckle. Then, tighten the tourniquet by twisting the rod, otherwise known as the windlass, until the flow of bleeding stops. Tourniquets can be painful when applied correctly. Remember to note the time you applied the tourniquet. EMS will want to know. It's also important not to remove the tourniquet once it's in place. Training is needed to properly use a tourniquet. Always remember to follow directions specific to the tourniquet being used. For parts of the body where a tourniquet cannot be applied, such as the neck or torso, a hemostatic dressing may be used instead. A hemostatic dressing is a dressing treated with a substance that speeds clot formation. Like tourniquets, Hemostatic dressings should only be used to control life-threatening bleeding when standard first aid procedures either fail or are not practical. These dressings can also be used when applying direct pressure for some reason isn't a practical option or a tourniquet doesn't work. When a person is bleeding severely, it's possible that their body will go into shock. Shock is a condition in which the circulatory system fails to deliver enough oxygen-rich blood to the body's tissues and vital organs. Signs and symptoms of shock include restlessness, irritability or altered level of responsiveness, nausea or vomiting, and pale, ashen, or grayish, cool, moist skin. Sometimes a person might say, I feel weak and dizzy. That may mean their body is in shock. To care for shock, call 911. Lay the injured person flat on the floor and cover them with a blanket. Offer the person reassurance and continue to monitor them as you control the bleeding.